welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all really, really good. And if you're new here, my name is Shay. I'd love it if you would consider subscribing before you go. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. I will be unboxing a new box that I found um, from Debenhams. It's the Look Good, Feel Better Beauty Box. It's £25 to buy. Um, I bought this online, so I had to pay the postage on top. So three, I think that was £3.99 or £3.49, I'm not sure. But... £20 from the sale of this box goes to the Look Good Feel Better charity which is the main reason why I bought the box really so if you don't know it's Look Good Feel Better um, help is a national charity who helps boost the physical and emotional well-being of people undergoing cancer treatment through free workshops printed materials and online tutorials says over the past 25 years the charity has supported over 170,000 people face to face across the UK and thousands more online and if you do want to find more out about the charity that's their details just there if you can see them if not I will link their website below but yes I was interested in the box it looked good I, ha I do know what's inside here because it does show you online but I'm going to show you that's how it comes packaged uh, this is just a sleeve over the top then you have the lid with the same design and that's the items inside the leaflet just there but that's all the items so i'm going to go through them one by one and if i can find any information about them i shall let you know that as well i think there might be a bit on the back um no it just tells you where the products are made and how big the sizes are so the first item in the corner of the box is a Estee Lauder day wear cream with an SPF of 15 and this is in a 15ml size so I have also received um, this cream in a 5ml size that I received in a different box I'm not sure which one that was um, I can't remember I, I, I buy so many I need to ban myself off my emails and unsubscribe to all these different companies because my bank account has taken a batter in but that's the cream just there so it's quite a nice size and it does look really luxurious and the cream i've actually used it before it is really nice i've used the smaller sample one that i've got I've used the five mil but that's just the color inside and it doesn't leave like any color on your face it does it does soak in quite nicely soaking i don't know if that's the right word but that's what it does it's got a nice like, spa like scent it's quite light but yes i do like this cream so i'm happy to have another one and i will definitely use it let's pop the lid back on there next item inside is a clinique item and it is the high impact mascara in zero one black and it's like a travel size of the mascara uh where does it say does it say how much is in here it might say on the back let's have a look 3.5 mil so yes it is like a smaller travel size i'm not going to open it because i like to open them when i use them just because i know they dry out quite quickly but i'm looking forward to trying that one i have got a couple of you um clinique mascaras at the moment because i have i've been i've been buying quite a lot and i shouldn't have done regretting it not really because i like the items that i've got but yes i have got a lot of mascara to use <laughs> anyway moving swiftly on the next item we have is by mac and it is one of their lipsticks it's lip tensity lipstick in the shade fire roasted let's open up and we'll have a look at the shade and it's a full size item as well as it does have the back to mac inside i believe you can only um exchange the full size items at, um with the back to max scheme i believe that's what i read somewhere but it might have changed i'm not sure so it isn't like a usual lipstick like the mac lipstick um and i've got another one and it's more of, um looks more like a bullet so it is a different one and it's got a red top as well so whether that's i don't know whether it's all changed or whatnot it's been a while since i bought one but i've got the mac the velvet teddy perfect nude that's the one i've got but the, oh that is really rich that's like a really rich red color um it actually looks quite darker than what it's showing on camera but it is closer to that one so you see there is like a 
get, get the hand in the right place. Yeah, here it looks lighter, but oh, I don't know. It, is, it does look a little bit darker in real life. It's a really nice colour, though, and it's one I'll definitely wear. So, yes, I'm looking forward to that. And then when I use it all, I will take it back to Mac. I think my nearest Mac is in um, Debenhams, and I think you can take them back to your back to Mac items there as well. Anyway, I'm, I'm waffling a little bit today. I'm sorry. It's been a while since I've done a video. I'm a little bit excited. <laughs> but anyway, the next item is by Glam Glow. And it is the Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment. And this is a... Pro is it a mask? I imagine it is a mask. But you apply an even layer to clean skin two to three times per week. Face, neck and décolleté. Or de de yeah, décolleté. I said that, yeah. Leave on for 10 to 20 minutes, wipe off excess and or massage into skin. So I don't think it's one you have to completely wipe off. I imagine it will soak into your skin. But yeah, I'm looking forward to giving that a try. Let's just open it up and see if it's got a scent. Or oh, it's hygiene sealed as well. And I love it when items come hygiene sealed. Just so you know it hasn't been tampered with. Oh, it's got a lovely scent. It smells like coconuts. But that's what it looks like there. It's more of a cream formula. See, I have squirted out the tiniest amount because it is um is a sample size. It's a 15 gram sample size. So I don't want to use too much. Oh, it looks like it's got glitter in it. Oh, that's, that's just a bit off the lipstick. I'm not sure. It rubs in quite nicely. And it has got a really nice coconutty scent. That is absolutely gorgeous. I'm a fan of that already. <laughs> the next item is by Smashbox. And it is the Photo Finish Primerizer. So this, I believe, it's you can use it in place of a moisturiser in the morning when you're doing your makeup. Um, I'll just read it to check if I'm right in saying that. But you apply one to two pumps to fingertips and smooth over face before makeup oh yeah can be used with or in place of moisturizer so i was right on that one now i've used the normal well, i say the normal the original smashbox primer i haven't tried this one before but i like that it's got a pump that's i, I like things that come like that ones that you don't have to dip your hands in and things like that, that that's the packaging i prefer i'm just gonna see if i oh gosh it's quite liquid it comes out quite fast oh yeah it is really liquidy see that little bit that i squirted out has done my whole hand and up my wrist <laughs> so... <laughs> there we go it's rubbed in quite nice it feels um quite silicone actually so i wonder if it has got silicon in it dimethicone yeah it does feel like it's got that it's a bit of slip to it but it's quite nice it's a bit tacky as well, so that will probably grip your makeup quite well. I like that, and I shall definitely give it a whirl. And the next item is by Aveda, or Aveda, I'm not sure how you say that. It's a damage, damage remedy daily hair repair, and it's um, a leave-in treatment. So I imagine it's a little bit like a leave-in conditioner. So to use, you shake well, work a small amount of product into hands, apply through damp hair and comb to distribute. Do not rinse. So yeah, it's like a leave-in item, probably a little bit like a leave-in conditioner, but let's give this a sniff. It's not got a seal on. It's nice. It's a nice smell. It reminds me of a more herbally smell. But yeah, I quite like it. I don't really use leave-in conditioners and I think my hair, oh gosh, it's, I've just done the lid up and it's all squirted out the sides. So that's probably one of the things to watch out with if you do get one of these. Is And I didn't squeeze the squeeze it at all, but I don't know, it's quite warm today, so whether that's why it's happened, but you can see it's all come out on my hand. It's like um, a milky white colour. I'll rub it into my skin. <laughs> Yeah, you, you still smell it, and it is quite herbally, but it's, it's nice, it is quite nice. And the last item in here is an angled blending brush, not a blush, and it says soft touch for sensitive skin, professional quality and cruelty free. And it says on here that the brand is look good, feel better. So it's probably one that's either been made for the charity or made for the box, I would imagine. 
but that's the brush there it's quite a nice head on that and it's it feels quite firm but still quite soft as well at the same time if that makes sense at all but yeah it's quite firm quite soft no shedding lovely yep yeah, so i'm looking forward to using that one so with this one it says apply and blend eyeshadow with this angled blending brush hand sculpted super fine and soft bristles allow you to create those classic or party eyes with ease look good feel better is the only worldwide cancer support charity providing practical support for women struggling with the side effects from cancer treatment there yeah. i'm happy with this one i'll definitely go and straight in my makeup bag this is it does feel really really nice it look I feel like it would do a good job this one but that's all the items in the box so it is 25 pounds from debenhams and 20 pounds of the sale of the box does go straight to the look good feel better charity so i am really really happy with this i'm really impressed as well i mean there's a couple well that's a full size item um this one's obviously a full size item and there's a couple of nice the sample sizes aren't tiny either they're, they're good size samples yeah i'm over the moon with this but thank you for watching my video and if you do like it please give me a thumbs up i'm going to go and leave you all to it now and i shall see you on my next video bye